The rising tensions between the U.S. and Iran, uh, many Americans are fearful of war, understandably, particularly college students applying for FAFSA. Some are concerned that filing, uh, filing, filling out these uh, free application for federal student aid which asks men whether or not they have registered with the Selective Service System could prioritize them for a potential draft. So FAFSA was quick to point out that registering with Selective Service has been a long-standing requirement to receive federal student aid, but also said there is no reason to panic. If there was an active draft, it would be based on random lottery numbers and year of birth, not on FAFSA loans. Market Watch reporter Leslie Albrecht is here to explain FAFSA and registering for the Selective Service. Good this, to see you. This is precisely the kind of stuff that social media loves to take and, and run, run with, with it. it. And, yeah. Yeah. Very, and the people that are driving that have very little knowledge or yeah. experience to understand what the Selective Service even is and what the draft is because the draft went away before a lot of people who are on social media were born. Exactly. And it's also a lesson to everybody, like, you know, check out what you see on social media and fact check it yeah. because misinformation spreads really fast. And actually, the Selective Service had to tweet saying the spread of misinformation is causing our website to crash, which is wow. what happened on Friday when people woke up after the airstrike on Baghdad and World War III was trending on Twitter. All of a sudden, there was this crazy groundswell of tweets about FAFSA and the draft and young people mistakenly thinking that because they had registered to receive uh, federal student aid that they would be drafted into the military. Right. Now, one thing that I and I could be wrong about this, but as a young man, when I turned 18, I automatic, I just went down and registered for the mm -hmm. Selective Service. Yeah. Here you we're talking to, about right? st student loans, and people worried about that, but don't you normally right. have to register when you turn 18? You do. In okay. fact, everybody, every male who lives in the United States, with a few exceptions, um, have to register for Selective ser Service when they turn 18. Right, okay. And it's also a requirement that you have to be registered with Selective Service if you want to apply for federal student loans. Um, but... It's a requirement to register for selective service, regardless of, of whether you apply for right. student loans. If you don't do it, it's a felony, actually, exactly. and you can be fined up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars and go to jail. Although that hasn't happened. So really. you register for selective service. Does yeah. that prioritize you? Does that mean that you're likely to be plucked? No. If there's a draft, okay. Explain how. Explain um, it. I mean, oh, what's the no, no, you mean if you register for, yeah. for FAFSA. If you, if you register for, to receive federal student aid, it does not prioritize you to be drafted. Okay. Drafted. Um, but, you know, every male uh, who registers for selective service is then, if there was a draft, mm -hmm. which would only happen Big if there isn't one, and there <laughs> is isn't one, there is not one. It hasn't happened since 1973, and if it did happen, it would be an act of Congress. Then there would be a lottery system based on your birth date, and it would be a random system for picking you. It wouldn't have anything to do with whether you'd applied for federal student aid. And Can we you say that bit again <laughs> about an act of Congress? Congress. Yeah, so <laughs> Congress, they're the ones <laughs> who decide if there's a draft. Um, and uh, that's the way it works. Right. Yeah. We were just showing, uh, we showed some images of some of the memes that were popping up on social media. Yeah. Uh, and here are a few uh, me signing up for Selective yeah. Service <laughs> back in 2014 <laughs> to get FAFSA. <laughs> right. Um, you know, and as you said, Emery, this is how misinformation spreads mm -hmm. because people do not understand the intricacies of what Selective Service is and how it relates to FAFSA. Yeah, it's really stunning. And like I said, it's a reminder to everybody that you really have to take what you see on social media with a giant grain of salt. Yeah. I think that's kind of like the greater conversation we've been having basically <clears throat> since the last election, but certainly moving into this election, mm -hmm. um, that it's social media people. These, this, uh, these, this is an opportunity, a platform for people to make to share their opinions, to make comments, to crack jokes. It is not where you get your primary information right, from. Right. Yeah, and it's also interesting, I would point out, that like, you know, the United States has had troops stationed all over the world for the past two decades, and yet we haven't had a draft, and people are really sort of far removed from military service. It's an all-volunteer army. Only a tiny percentage of Americans are actually in the army or mm -hmm. in the military, so it's really not something that affects a lot of people. But it should, it's good to point out, uh, Leslie, that when you turn 18, you are required to yeah. register uh, with the Selective Service. And that's why I was sort of surprised to see people up in arms about it because of a student loan application. Right. My thought was we well, should have already been registered the same way we all did when we turned 18, and proudly so. Yeah, and uh, everybody has to register. You can do it online or at the post office mm -hmm. or when you get your driver's license. And the reason it's on the FAFSA form is in part to make it a little bit easier to register because it is the law to do so, but it's also a requirement that you do have to register if you want to get federal student aid. Really right. good information. Thank Leslie you. Leslie Albrecht, thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate it. No problem. It.